Hey y'all, this is Matt with WRM. In this video you're about to watch, you'll see Briar getting his new mulching head for the 325. We've been waiting on it for a while. We've got one more implement coming. I'm not gonna give it away right now, but we did finally get our mulching head in. And this is just a little video where we hooked it up and kind of run it for the first time. It's actually sitting on the other side of the barn right now. We've got a couple jobs coming up we're gonna use it on. So we'll try to get some video of that. But for now, this is just a little intro into it. And all right, y'all stick around and watch. What you got there, Briar? FAE, that's a what, a 60 inch? Got the, it's not the hammer style. It's got the two way. You can turn these knives two different ways. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool. We, had, we just, just took it off the crate. We gotta hook everything up and then we'll get some video running. So this is, this was the whole point of the 325, the high flow machine, just so we could get. We're not gonna do it, we're not gonna advertise mulching, we're just gonna do it as a, uh, we have some customers that request it and they want us to do it, so we're gonna do it for them. is not necessarily because we just want to be mulching contractors around here. We will help some customers out with it. Um, it's not really our goal, but when we do clearing like for um, site work and stuff, around here, this part of the Panhandle of Florida, we have a lot more scrub than trees. So underbrush is a big deal. And it takes up, when we do haul offs on clearing and stuff, it takes up a lot of room in our trailers. And it just costs us a lot to dump it. Um, so with this, our plan is before we clear we'll go in with this mulcher and knock all the underbrush out doing that it reduces the size of it because you know how underbrush is when you throw it on a trailer it takes up a lot of room and it's hard to compact and stuff like that so in order to cut down on some of that we're gonna take this and cut everything up and hopefully Briar will be able to sit on the job he'll go in first knock all the underbrush out and hopefully he'll have time to stay there for another day, get everything laid down, and then mulch the tops of the trees, like pine trees and um, oak trees especially. The laurel oaks that we have, 
they're real bushy. They take up a lot of space. So if we could get those laid down on the ground and knock the trees up, even if it's cut in pieces like that, I mean, it's, it doesn't have to be anything pretty. We'll rake all the mulch up, haul it off, and then we should be able to just get um, tree, tree trunks, stumps, and, uh, and stuff like that, the roots and stuff like that. So that's kind of our plan with this. We also have another uh, customer who does soil borings. So what they do is they go in before, well, during the planning stages of a, of a job, they'll go in and they'll bore into the soil and say, okay, there's water table is this much. You've got some, um, some silty ground here that needs to be dug out. Brett's coming in. Um, so that being said, we'll try to do, uh, we'll try to go in there and just knock it down because all they're really worried about is getting their machine back there to bore. Don't have to clean anything up. But we think this will be a little better for that kind of thing. But if y'all like our videos, make sure you subscribe. We'll see y'all on the next one.